We are Movie Menu Reviews, the podcast that never stopped playing with dolls. Yeah. <laughs> On today's menu, we'll be reviewing Brahms the Boy 2. Unfortunately. <laughs> We welcome everybody. We are Movie Men Reviews. All Woo! right. Uh, we are coming to you live from East Los Angeles on Facebook Live. Yeah. All right. With us today, we have our guests, Christopher Velasco and, and Dakota Newt <laughs> with their gender neutral uh, creepy doll. Yes. Does it have a name or we have not uh, chosen a name yet? There's no name. There's, There's no name. It, it, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> His name is beautiful. All right. Yes. No, All right. They, 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 they. They. Oh, their name is. Sorry. Their <laughs> name is. Yes. All right. Uh, again, w- w- with us today also is Mike Stan. Yay. Hey, Mike. Welcome. I'm, 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 I'm kind of here today. Uh, I mean, yeah. mentally, <laughs> we're all over the <laughs> yeah, shop. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And, and, and for those who are watching, you can tell that there's a giant male missing in the middle of all this. <laughs> oh, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> were you looking around for him? Yes. <laughs> He's not hiding anywhere. You can't hide Dan anywhere. Uh, Dan is not here with us today. He is out partying with his family. So, you know, have fun, Dan. Uh, we have taken over. The mad house has now been taken over by the psychopaths. Um, so I, I just before we get started with the review, I just wanted to kind of ask you guys. Uh, um, you, you guys are familiar with the Mary Fuck Kill uh, game? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Chucky, Annabelle, Brahms, M F. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Okay, go for okay, it. Okay, I think I can do this. All right, go for it. I would. Uh, <laughs> Fuck Chucky. Okay. <laughs> That's like, come on. I mean, he's technically older. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, right, you're right, you're right. He's right, kind so of now, creepy. you know, and then like, you know, he's of age because, you know, we all grew up with him. So, you know, I get it. it I would fuck him. He has a dick. <laughs> he has a dick. Does literally. he really? He has oh, a dick. Oh, you're right. It's in the movie. I forgot. He that was movie. part has, four or yes. something. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Uh, so I would fuck Chucky, kill Brahms, and yeah. marry Annabelle. <laughs> That's my list. That's a, it's a good list. It's a yeah. solid, well logic uh, list. It's just it's easy. Brahms is like, you know. kill him. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Dakota? Oh my god! It's not is- a required question. I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> one of the Wayans brothers fucked an Annabelle in one of their spoof movies. Yes. Did they really? Yes. 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 I, I was not scary movie. What's scary? not scary movie? It's a recent one. Uh, it scooped. They spoof Paranormal Activity. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was uh, a scary movie. It was not a scary movie. No, it was. Uh, they were making fun of the paranormal. Yeah, it was paranormal disactivity or something, or something like that. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah. Uh, uh, not Sean. It's the other one, Wayne. Wayne. He well, they're, fucks. They're all Wayans. No, but he he fucks uh, Annabelle. <laughs> Marlon? Yeah, Marlon. Yeah, he fucks uh, Annabelle really good. It was acting. It was acting. <laughs> he acted really well. Yes. Unlike this movie. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into it. All right. So right. The, we're, <laughs> you didn't even ask Mike or you didn't even answer the question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, answer the question. Dude. Answer the, f- <laughs> the question. Uh, I, I mean, definitely. Yeah. I think I would go with uh, Annabelle, Mary, uh, Chucky, uh, fucking. Yeah. I, I'm, I agree with you on that. Okay. And I only go on that based on the original Brahms because I watched that one. Yeah. Um, we all did. Yeah. 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 We, we all had to suffer through watching this one. Um, Mike, you have any answers? Uh, I guess I would, I would kill Brahms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably I, w- I would probably marry Chucky because he's pretty funny. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah commitment, yeah, yeah, yeah. entertaining. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and he uh, he's gonna fuck. Yeah, 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 that yeah, makes sense. There you go. It, it, if you guys had one bullet and th- there was <laughs> Hitler, no, sorry, two bullets and there was Hitler, Brahms, and you in the room, who would you who would you uh, kill? Can he, can you do a Deadpool and like kill all three with yeah. one bullet? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, let's let's go let's go into the plot. All that right, was, that was a good review. Thank you guys. Yeah. Good night. Done. Done. All right, so the movie we're reviewing is Brahms the Boy, uh, directed by William Brent Bell, uh, a serial killer name if ever I've heard of one. Uh, written by Stacy Minier, starring Katie Holmes, Owain Yaman, and and Christopher Convery. I'm sure there's other people who are are, are in the movie. Uh, here's hmm. the plot: after movie <laughs> after family moves into the Heelshire Mansion, their young son soon makes friends with a lifelike doll called Brahms. So depending on your spoiler for review, because I have not seen this movie, I will decide if this movie is worth a dine-in, watch it in theater, a takeout, watch it at home, or a leftovers... Um, 
Bury it in the backyard. Bury in the backyard. <laughs> literally, literally. And and yourself, I guess. Are you sure? sure. Uh, <laughs> so now whoever wins will earn a point. And because, of course, you two are our guests here, we can go ahead and uh, give you guys the points if you guys uh, sway me to watch or not watch this movie. Uh, and if you do get at least 10 points, uh, Dan will purchase you whatever you want since he's not here. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the sky's the limit. Uh, all right. Oh, so it's on. <laughs> With that being said, rate this film. Uh, Dakota. Yes. Go, go it. for it, please. How would you rate this film? Wait, Leftover is your worst? That's the yeah, worst that one. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Leftover. So Leftovers for you? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oops. Sorry, Dakota, Leftovers for you? Yes. Okay. Um, great. Any reason why? Or just, just going to leave it blank? Just go like, no. Just... <laughs> I mean, oh, you had a lot to say in the car. Well, it, I feel like I'm putting more thought than the writer did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes it's important. Yeah, uh, Mike, how would you review this? You know, movie? you know, I saw, uh, I watched the first one, okay. and I was like, yeah, that was that wasn't that bad. Really? That okay. Wasn't that bad. Okay. We'll and talk then, about and it. Then, in a then I saw the trailer, and I was like, for the second one, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, hopefully, hopefully, it's just like another like like terrible trailer, but but okay movie. And uh, this one, like the the first third of the film i was like okay like this might be like a slow burn movie and like maybe maybe in the end it'll deliver and it all it, it got terrible okay it's, okay uh, all right. to- complete leftovers all right and chris go for it leftovers <laughs> okay all right all right um so i, I want to make sure to cover so one of the things we, we we had no movies to watch this weekend because we were actually kind of like what do we watch this weekend there's no no really good movies so we chose on watching brahms because well it was the only movie that was available um, but then we were like, all right, I'll host it on the basis that I will watch Br- uh, the boy for the first movie so that I can help review the second movie or at least be the host of it. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Very and, humble. You know, I, I mean, I'm sure you, we all watched it, right? We all watched the boy one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This, yes. this is like a, a – it's like – the sequel is like a standalone. Yes, it. it you don't you, need to watch part. They rebooted well, except, it. Except, I think a reboot. Because uh, 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 all right, so on the first one, you had a doll who wasn't really supernatural, but there was like elements of it. And then it turns out, and, and this is a spoiler for those who haven't watched it or you know who don't want to suffer, um, <laughs> where it turns out that it's actually the boy grew up and is now wearing a, a, a toy mask, and then they kill him at the end, or do they? Um, and so, so does that continue? It does the lore continue into this movie? It, oh. No, no, <laughs> okay. no. It's like it's like this. It's okay, like, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, now the the bigger question I think that we all are asking ourselves is why did a sequel come out of this movie? So <laughs> I'm I'm going to explain it to you guys. All right, very very easily. This movie is being it, it, there's a second movie because financially it made sense. So the first movie. Oh. Interestingly enough, was made out of with ten million dollars, so it was actually a really low budget film. I mean, just to give you guys an example, yeah. uh, uh, Deadpool was made with fifty million, I th- if, well lesser than I think it was like forty fifty million, um, and it grossed like a good sh- like eight hundred million or something like that. Brahms was produced for ten million, and it did worldwide seventy four million. So people were clearly going out to watch this movie. And and just to give you some scary stats, this movie was also – Brahms 2 was made with $10 million and it is currently gross $14 million worldwide. So guess what? We're getting a part three. Oh, it, it, no, right. I mean – when you, if you actually see this movie, yes, you're gonna realize. Of course, they're gonna make a part three because they leave it. It's a setup. It, it kind of sets up for that, All right, right, Mike? Yeah, and so, th- the first one, it like. The first one they they like lead into a part two as like an afterthought. It's yes. like it's like it's like very clearly closed. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, in yeah. part one where um, I mean, how much should I spoil in, well, in the first? I don't well, well, need to spoil anything. Well, hold on, hold on, let's let's go into the plot and then we can go into a little bit spoiler at the very end. But we don't. Okay. I mean, sure. I feel like nobody should be watching this movie to begin no. with. It's Uh-oh. leftovers. But Uh-oh. let's let's talk about it. What's the plot like? What what's going okay. on? What is setting this entire oh, story? Okay, up? you know you know how in part one you mentioned that it turns out that there's no like paranormal activity yes, happening correct. at all. In part two, they're like, "Got you." It, there was total paranormal activity. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this whole movie is based on. And they did somebody and it, come out and actually say that? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> you, pretty no. much. Yeah, there's yeah, like a, a bunch of like ridiculous exposition and like and the, like to the point where it's almost like horror movie parody with yeah. like um, our lead actress like like 
what the heck was that? Oh my uh, God, Brahms! <laughs> Brahms is here. <laughs> our, our, with our, our lead actress, like uh, researching the doll on the She's computer. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 as, it's as funny as your response. Yeah, like, because that, that laugh is, because like there's a scene where I thought it was really funny and like. It, it took it. I went somewhere else with it, but she had to find out if the doll was made a certain way. Oh, did you think it was going to go sexual? Yes, I thought it was going to go sexual. I, went, I thought oh. it went sexual. Yeah. Yeah. you think it was a sex doll? No, no, no. No. This, there's a scene where the uh, the mom, after she did the research and she found that like uh, most antique dolls have on the hands. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm demonstrating. Yeah, with, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, with yeah, my yeah. baby here. Yeah. So those who are on the podcast, I want you guys to tune in so you can watch Chris play with his doll. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so with most antique dolls uh, on the, in the movie, it said that there's like some kind of uh, numbering on the Your hands, hands okay. or the palms okay. or in the feet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so she I have de- numbering on my hands. Yeah. And feet so well. she decides to do that, but she has to go into her son's room at night. Why? Because the plot the, requires it. I guess. And then you see <laughs> it's that, the bad touch. Like. Yeah. It's like, uh, and then she's like, she has to look at the little, like the doll who's sleeping like a little child. Okay. And it gets really weird where she has to, take out the blanket and then she's like looking at and examining him but slowly like one hand then to the other hand and then, and then and to then, the foot and then all of a sudden she starts to like kind of maybe unbuckle the shirt okay yeah. so of course I'm like and I Dakota felt the same way where I was like are we and then they wake up and then the the father walks in like runs in like what are you doing and I was like <laughs> she was doing a lot <laughs> I mean Katie Holmes was acting oh okay there, All right. there was a weird uh, yeah <laughs> there, there's like a weird jump scare in that moment which you see in the trailer yeah and, yeah but but like. The, the jump scares are very weird in this movie. Like yeah, they, the, they don't make sense. Well, they were not good in the first one they, either, but well, go the, ahead. The, there's a jump scare in the movie where nothing is on screen. It's just <laughs> it's just Katie Holmes turning around and he goes, <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Wow. Like, wow. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's just I like, think the dog was scarier. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dog wasn't scary. You got scared for oh a my moment. God. <laughs> and then the doll was so angry. <laughs> Why don't you protect him from dog? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, do- the dog does so the doll speaks? No. No. Oh, oh okay. But like, like it was like the note that he was leaving for like the boy yes, to tell the yes, mom. That's yeah. that's in the movie, the first one too. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. But did, like, why did he? You just had a German accent. <laughs> <laughs> the reason for that. All the accents. Okay. You should you should hear, you should hear Dakota when he sleeps. Oh, okay. oh God. So, he just speaks in German. <laughs> and he Brahms. speaks in he speaks in different languages. <laughs> okay. Okay. But like, yeah, this this film, like, oh, it was so like. I agree with Mike where. The first third of it was like, okay, I, I see it. they're kind of setting up for something. And then by the end, I checked out. I was yeah, on my yeah, phone. Was, oh, no. It, you it, were one of those. It, it was like like at the end of the second act, I was I was like, well, nothing happens, but it's time to wrap it up now. I yeah, yeah. I was like, and okay. Then, oh, then, half hour left. And then, <laughs> then it's like, wait a minute. Why, why is there more? Like there's no way – there's more shouldn't exist because they kind of like concluded the story already. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then it, uh, it just get, keeps getting worse from there. Oh, yeah. and okay. then like, for example, to like the, the whole story, how it's set up that we go to the house. So we go back to the house. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. no, yeah. we w- start off with a weird guest house that never really made yeah, sense. Yeah. But no, no, I'm talking about like in the <laughs> yeah, beginning, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the beginning <laughs> where like, we see the family at their own home, mm-hmm. and then it's like something happens traumatic. Should we just say? Whatever? Yeah, yeah, you could say. It. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the home invasion. Yeah, yeah the home yeah. invasion. Oh, no, 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 that, that's covered in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. But like, so home invasion, and yeah. then all of a sudden we go to the kids traumatized. That's what the whole yeah, premise the, is. Yeah. and the mom too. Okay, sure. Which but was a great setup. I think. It, I thought it was like okay, it's a classic. Yeah, like, kind you know, of home. like midsummer esque though, like this family trauma, but done badly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. just goes like. Woo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Great. So the story sucks. Um, yep. What about directing? Like, here's the thing about this director. Okay, he hasn't really directed anything outside of horror. So he's done the boy, which we all can agree sucked. Uh, the devil I, inside, which I didn't see, but I, it looks pretty awful. I, and I, I, I know I'm alone in this, but I actually kind of enjoyed the boy. Yeah, I you're like, like I enjoyed like, like, but you're not. Like Seventy four million like, dollars. If, or, or, if I would have, if yeah. I would have seen it in the theaters, like I would have probably given it a soft takeout. You know. Why? The it, first it, one's funnier. I have no premise. I, I, yeah, I the first it. one is funnier. I, I, it is. I, oh, it's oh did you guys laugh? I was laughing the entire time. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. It, it was it was better acted. Like I really enjoyed like Lauren Cohen's performance. And oh then, no, uh, no, no, I, I did. 
the no. boyfriend, the boyfriend in that story was the stupidest thing. Yeah, ever. it was. Yeah. Well, it was so was yeah. the so was the father in this one. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but yeah. I, I think the strongest thing that um the the boy had the first film was like I, I liked the idea. There was this idea of yes. like, like a creepy guy living in the walls for years and years. That yeah. that idea is pretty cool, although it was like poorly executed. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. The, like like this the boy would be a great film to remake and and have like like an awesome director like just like like tear it down and build it back up and i think okay, it okay. it could it had a lot of potential see i feel like the boy the first movie just it sound it, from just watching it and i watched it a couple of days ago it looked like a premise that somebody had gone like you know what would be really creepy but really cool to watch is like if if there's like a boy who's living in the walls and then the way you stop him is by telling him get in bed and then you stab him to death yeah yeah I, oh, it, that's like, terrible i kind of <laughs> felt like that entire <laughs> moment was like like that was the idea they had and that's the uh, that's the movie but they had to work backwards well, and, I, and that's kind of what I feel like about this movie it just feels like they had a premise and they had to work backwards I think okay. they just ripped off the uh, the remake of Black Christmas um, oh okay, oh, okay. The, not the the 74 the one that came out in yeah it came out last year right no not that one oh, a okay, one. different one it was like 2010s or something can oh. you say a little more about it why, yeah, why, why so do you feel like it was a rip because off? like uh, in that one in that remake they t- uh, they told more of the story of why uh, in the original Black Christmas you kind of know somebody's living in the house with no. the sorority. Oh, okay. so in the remake they kind of go more into this boy who was like traumatized all gotcha. that. Gotcha. Okay. And you know he's living in the house, and then he's killing. Oh, okay. okay. And you find out his mother is abusive. Blah blah blah. So. I think somebody, the director, somebody wrote, who wrote this was like, oh, maybe nobody remembers that. Okay, so let's okay. let's make the boy. Our Mike you're, Myers with Buster Rhymes. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, you're not wrong on that because no. actually the boy was was a copy of, uh, I think it was like a, um, a Sp- Spanish film called Familia Colateral. Oh, and so it it's actually, it, it <sighs> was it, like, it almost, the, people are saying that it's like a carbon copy, like the plot is exactly the same. Well, that's what American uh, horror films do now. That's true. That's they true. They just yeah. rip off other better films or like decent films yeah. from yeah, other yeah. countries. And like, like when they're talking about they want to make the American version of Parasite, yes. it's like just watch any movie that talks about. Well, like, I mean, they're making it for Donald Trump because he can't read. So <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. But. That's the problem with the boy and the and Brahms. Okay, <laughs> Brahms the boy. Too. But let's just say let, let's just find let's like yeah. Let's keep going. All right. Yeah, so yeah. But Mike said acting was pretty awful in this one comparison to the first one. Actually, I feel the opposite. Really interesting. Say more. Yeah. Go ahead. Dakota. Why? 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 Oh, the Dakota. script yeah. was worse, but the acting was <laughs> oh, okay. better. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I see that. Yeah, and yeah. and yeah, yeah. I think that Dakota and I agree on this that. Technically, no. Actually, technically, the cinematography, direct art direction okay. was worse compared to oh. Annabelle creation and um, a Ouija board. Well, like, but you're comparing it to like. I mean, you can't compare. It's like trash to trash. Well, no, but but <laughs> but you're talking about money, right? Like like Annabelle is produced by who is who's produced Blumhouse? by? Was it uh, Blumhouse? Not, it's Blumhouse, but there's also uh, Universal, SGX, I think. I think? Yeah, yeah, I mean, SGX. like they had some money, but this one just seemed like somebody forgot to like give them money. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mike, yeah. what do you think too? Yeah, because I, I feel like totally, that's... totally agree. <laughs> like, if, if your special effects are dolls' eyes moving, just don't even waste, waste money. <laughs> exactly. Putting, don't waste money doing that. Just... I mean, I thought the 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 kid did really well yeah. acting with the oh, doll. He was actually good for his yeah. role. Yeah, 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 yeah. and then yeah. he was mute, and then when he was speaking, and then when the the doll is just sitting there or doing whatever, and like he has to act against that. Yeah, it's like watching somebody act. With like green screen okay i mean the doll was really like it's lifelike and he has to like oh he's mad don't do this don't do that and it's like you kind of believe him but then again like katie holmes was acting she was like <laughs> giving performance i mean listen she she isn't she knows what it's like to be feel captive i mean she was married to tom yeah cruise, so. i think this movie was talking about like they assault the scientology <laughs> it was a, it was tom cruise yeah. you know you the know doll how, was tom cruise the entire time you know, I you, think know how, so. you know how i know katie holmes is a good actress mm. She she was interviewed and she said it was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she got paid for this God. movie, dude. I mean, Mike, calm down, dude. <laughs> no, he went there. Yeah. And it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> 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 it's like uh, 
I mean, if if Dan was here, I would say, oh, it's like Tammy Brown. You know from- that if Dan was here, he'd give this movie a dine in. Yeah, he would. <laughs> but I'm going to reference like a drag race uh, kind of thing where okay. Tammy Brown's like, you know, joking and uh, – was it all stars uh, season one in the backstage when they're like, you know, talking shit and, and arguing and like just cutting up. And, and then she's like, I'm acting, I'm acting. Ah! And then she stops and it's okay. like, I'm acting. And I'm like, that's Katie Holmes. And scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And scene. And, and, and paycheck. Yeah. And paycheck. Literally. <laughs> Because I think they gave more of the budget or the budget they had, they gave it to Katie Holm because yeah. oh. she's the, well, she's the, the top bigger name. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this script needed like so much more time. Oh, my God. Yeah. So much more time. But I did appreciate it was a short film. It didn't feel like it, though. It was 83 <laughs> minutes long. It wasn't a short film it, at all. To me, it felt like they, they I were I feel like it was oh, shorter yeah. than Slender Man or The Nun. So you're saying the, the pacing ones. was fast. It's not In a way, like they, they wrapped it up. Or Things like, went okay. actually too fast. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, like the dialogue got really choppy between like the adults too. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like, let's talk about your assault. I don't want to talk about my assault. Why don't we have sex anymore? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're like, holy fuck, trauma does not work that way. <laughs> like, well, I kind of felt like the first one did the same thing where it's like all of a sudden like they realize, oh shoot, we're out of time and cut, 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 cut. Oh, yeah. And it's all and of a sudden you have all these jump cuts that make no sense. And yeah, and then like this ex boyfriend who's abusive comes in. Out and, of nowhere. And yeah. he, he almost reminded me of Tommy Wiseau going like, I didn't do it. You know, he's like really bad yeah, he no idea bad. what his act, accent is he just had a nice body but he just didn't know how to act okay, oh hi okay. Brahms oh hi Brahms <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right uh, final question and then this this will wrap it up uh, for me anyways uh, is this movie scary like at all no <laughs> it is, it's not it's, it's not scary at all not like the like some like I hate jump scares, yes, but, if you it's, do. but if it's a good jump scare, yeah. like I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah. That was, it was cool, even though it made me jump. It was yes. like, all right, fine. But this one, like, like, the, like, where if you have a jump scare where it's just the music of a jump scare, that <laughs> oh the, yeah, they they set you up so bad. That doesn't make any sense. The music <laughs> was so bad. You just get a turn, <laughs> but there's nothing there. It's, yeah, okay. it's just right. Katie Holmes like looking. But confused. is it scarier than Annabelle? I feel like no. the first Annabelle was not scary at all. The other the the other ones after. Annabelle yeah the ones afterwards were, were creepier were, yeah were creepier but like but Annabelle itself was like a terrible movie. There was no horror elements at all. I feel Same like. thing with the the Ouija board movie, the first one. Right 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 right. Then when they went into the more like prequels and the, story those, like those were they more, were creepier. Yeah. Did you see the second? Which one? Because I know the second Ouija, if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, directed or- by Mike Flanagan. Right? Yeah, it was the origin of evil. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I haven't seen yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. but I no, would love to see that. No, that no, no, was, and we, I told you, it yeah, was you actually it. It was really actually done. Good. Yeah, done well. Set cool. design and they, yeah. the story, which was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with them. I'm okay. with them. Right. Yes, um, cool. but not scary <laughs> at all. This movie was oh, not was, scary at all. This mm-hmm. should have been like, was it funny at least? Uh, no, we, no, no, it was never intentionally funny. It, it, all the funny moments for me were very unintentionally funny. Oh man! So. Yeah, we were Dakota and I sitting there. We just I was eating popcorn, just laughing like this is a piece of shit. Yeah, that's kind of how. I felt but about the, the first one's funnier. Yeah. yeah, the first one is like right. like almost like it's overacting. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, but and Brom said like the rules and the movements. This one didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if they integrated like more of like the rules, the rules. I think if they were breaking more rules, I think it would have been more interesting. Gotcha. Okay. But I th- I think um, this movie, even though I say it's a takeout, well, yeah, you didn't say it's a takeout. You said it's leftovers. You oh yeah, leftovers. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> no leftovers. But it's one of those films that you could see in the summer, or if it was just like on Amazon Prime or okay. Netflix or, or Hulu into the dark, like a like, bad like, horror movie. Uh, yeah, because you realize that goes into the director's pocket, and they're going to make another one. <sighs> Yeah, because yeah, that Hulu Into the Dark, that gay film they made, whoever's watching this, that was a piece of shit, <laughs> too. I was going to say, like, is Hulu Into Dark and, uh, uh, like a Hulu, like a, a different channel that I've never heard of? No, it's a movie. No, it's like they a have a series. series of horror movies oh. called Into the Dark. Oh, yeah. okay, and, and they're all really low budget. They, they might be partnered with Blumhouse. Yeah, maybe. No, yeah, that makes sense. They made one that was like dedicated to a gay horror. It was so cliche. I wanted to like. Set it on fire out gotcha. in the desert. Okay. It was so bad. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, well, I mean, I, I've run out of questions because, again, this movie <laughs> You're going to still watch this. I know you I'm, will. No, no, no. I will intentionally avoid this. I actually avoided yeah. the, the boy. Go there, ahead, Mike. There's this movie. So in this movie, it, it has a scene where, like, like there's new... It's 
there's newspaper clippings on the computer. Oh, yes. oh, and, okay. and, oh, yeah. and it's like it's like Brahms wasn't the only family. And then it traces back to other families where kids murdered their parents. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, so, and it goes back a couple of hundred years. If that's true, the doll wouldn't be named the boy that killed his parents. Yes. Yeah. It would have a different name. So you wouldn't call it Brahms the boy. It would be a yeah. It, so so like like the mythology in this film is all whacked out already. <laughs> and yeah, like, it just yeah, and then that scene where you find out it's possessed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you're yeah. like well, you find that out pretty early when its eyes are glowing. Like, yeah, but like I was like because yeah, they yes. did that I, in the first. So film it goes kinda. Chucky then is it kind of goes Chucky or does it go nun like where it's like there's like a demon inside and of no it. personality. <laughs> that, yeah. So it's the nun like, and Chucky. Hey, we all know yeah, demons yeah. have personalities. Get they it do. right. <laughs> but no, it goes into that, and then when you find out, and you're just sitting there like, really? And then when like the the groundskeeper tells that whole like. Yeah. story you're like what the fuck did this because i was assuming the father of the the child like he did the home invasion just to scare his because or he'd be like brahms from the first one with plastic surgery sure, like it could sure, have been sure. more i would have been like okay we're gonna go there yeah but they don't go there they're like and he's just like oh listen to your mother and i was like <laughs> what the fuck yeah. <laughs> and in the and then that that stupid scene where the family comes and then like the cousin gets hurt. Yeah, he gets like there, there's no, like nothing really happens. No. <laughs> other, yeah, other than a dog a dog dies. That's what happens. I mean, that's movie. sad, that's, but that's I, not a that. That's it. Was yeah. it. Is that is that the only thing that Brahms does? That's, that's, no, Brahms does a lot more shit. Okay, does he? The only death though. <laughs> yeah, because it's the only death is the dog. Oh, but then the groundskeeper dies at the end. Maybe does, does he, he like he like floats in the air and then he faints. <laughs> yeah, because like, I mean I do that like, nightly. It, <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> it's it's just so like yeah they they the ending just like when they started like wrapping shit up and you're just like boo 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 you know it's like yeah. and his, like uh, his face blows up and he has like a weird like demon face underneath yeah. but it looks terrible oh it was, no. like, well, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. not like so, but again the money went to katie holmes yeah, yeah. okay for the okay. church of scientology i or mean something. what she's no that? longer she, she is out of she's the out. church of scientology no, or she's she yes to, like to, to protect it or you know what it was the church of she's scientology a, she's protection so I <laughs> yeah. no i think the church of scientology like helped like do this movie because no. they're like no <laughs> they don't, i don't know i'm just gonna start like saying some shit battle battle battlefront earth or was it battle something earth oh with john travolta john Travolta. That's the only movie that Scientology has ever produced. After this movie, I did read Dianetics. So I don't know. Oh no! What? I, think, I think Chris is. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just. Would you like a stress test? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I do whistle all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's on their personality test. They is say it, if no, you don't whistle enough, then yeah. it means that you have to be in Dianet or Scientology. Oh, yeah, and what? then if and also if you if you p- say that you you have feelings like homosexual feelings, like they're gonna help you like cure you or some shit. Oh, like. they do the cure the gay way. Yeah, um, that's why Tom Cruise is still in Scientology. Well, that and it's still in the closet. I know. Yeah, and, and John Travolta and who else? There's so many. John Travolta is so weird, man. But yeah. oh, he's a big old queen. Oh, no yeah. one else oh, to care oh, yeah. about. Without a doubt. Yeah, you yeah. know about his like how he goes massage parlors and shit like. Right? No, but I can only imagine. Yeah. We shouldn't be talking about that because they can sue us for that. <laughs> Talk about problems, the boy too. Yes, that was a, <laughs> not boy. associated with Kenny Holmes, who was uh, excommunicated by the Church of Scientology. That's correct. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so I, I guess the last question that I've got is like, how would this movie be any better? If I were to give you ten million dollars now, how would you fix this movie? <laughs> right. um, because clearly they need the help. I mean, like, listen, like the the writer Stacy Manier. Uh, I, I don't know what she's on, but she's not doing a good job here. She you, just got paid. Yeah. There was this documentary called The Death of Superman Lives. And, uh, okay. They, Ooh, and, and they, yeah. they Weird inter- reference. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a weird reference, but but um, the most interesting thing about it was that they interviewed the, the, pro- the producer that has the rights to Superman. And they talk about, like, they interview him and he says the most ridiculous, like, plot line ideas. Like, you could tell he's never even read, like, a <clears throat> Superman comic. He just, okay. he just owns the rights to Superman. And um, Brahms the Boy, too, it feels like you have the, those same hands in this where, like, uh. like the, the script writer, she probably maybe she had something decent and like it just seems like someone else just like who who, has, who knows nothing about script writing just destroyed it oh okay. that's what it seems okay. like it seemed like a script for a different movie just slapped in a bronze <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. The, the third act was like like yeah but it's the you know, only i mean to be fair that's that's kind of what happens in the first movie too where like yeah, the, the third end. act just kind of goes sideways and you're like what why would you introduce that yeah you know <laughs> 
Um, all right. But, so, but what would you guys do differently, though? Like, that's I think the question's still the same. Like, what would you guys do? Change? What would change? Oh, well, yeah. What would what would you change to make this movie that much more interesting? I, well, first, I would like I would spend another like six months just writing the script, yeah, and then just do like a complete overhaul on the script. Get a bunch of like. Uh, Get a bunch of uh, no name but awesome cast okay. to to keep the budget super low, and then just like and, and j- just make sure that script is like super super tight before even moving forward. To have no Would you carry the supernatural elements. We no to keep that complete, no because part one did not have that. It out. didn't, and I think that le- they did they the. The best uh, idea in Brahms the Boy 2 was the whole psychological element. And I think if they would have continued to let that grow and have that be the story of like of these characters' trauma. and Keep how it much a little hereditary? Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With, yeah. Without, without any – Supernatural par- stuff. Yeah, without yeah. any supernatural stuff and just, just kind of like having a comment on how like your – uh, family trauma, family like like lineage. Exactly, it's, just, it's and, like it's messed up. All right, yeah, right and, and and how it can cause you to go crazy, yeah. pretty much. All right, and yeah. and turn on each other. Do you yeah. guys have any other any other thoughts as to how you would fix this whole story? Yeah, I would spend more money on practical effects, oh, okay. better lighting, yeah, uh, cinematography, uh, just yeah, and 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 hire actual an actual person who could do a score. Oh, okay. Because the score, yeah, what's the score? <laughs> That's a good point. The score was so like they give you away like scary stuff is gonna happen. And, oh, oh, they yeah. really give it away. Yeah, and I'm like, you could just do minimal and just let the the people acting just like get freaked out. Yeah, or like have the director tell like, okay, some like I'm just gonna throw something at you. Just act at it. You know, yeah. like do something weird and avant garde with it, maybe. But I like Mike's idea of like keeping it more in like family trauma, more psychological, more practical. Like for me, it's more practical effects, not like yeah. spending like doing the whole like, you know. Ooh. Well, like Dakota said too, like if you kept it a little bit like, um, oh shoot, uh, Midsummer, you know, yeah. like it, it, build it up. Yeah, and they they, they like establish something good in 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 the boy, the first the boy, where it's just like a little boy that's like crazy. Yeah, he's a crazy yeah. killer. Yeah. Too. And so, the, so, no, so, I mean, it works. It yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. So if they would have continued, I mean, like, if they're going to make a sequel, have another crazy serial killer kid. Like, it, yeah. like, it doesn't have to be supernatural. It could just be, like, like a series of traumas that create this this Yeah, because it's like, boy. Yeah. Yeah, like you know? if it, they had the groundskeeper and they put, put more into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, the, the, the father. Like, Ye- there's some kind of connection to that. yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of things falling there, down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like hey, if they no, just no guests, they're not down. guests. Proms. They're not yeah, guests. they're not guests. Proms. No. Yeah. All right, uh, um, but yeah. So that's that's I would say like that. Dakota, any final like I know like how can you make this? Better? I feel like they should have spoofed Katie Holmes's like personal life a little bit. Like have oh. more fun with it. Yeah, because they're using her as an actress. Sure, like take sure. more of the. Scientology and kind of play with reference <laughs> okay, a bit. Right on. Like have more fun with the weirdness of it. Because like, what was the point of her? Yeah, I, well, I mean, well, I know she's acting like she's an actress. Like, yes, serious. I want her like escaping like a Brahms cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it would it would be more interesting. Uh, that, that, that would be good. I would watch that. Yeah. I would totally yeah. watch that. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. So uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie a leftovers. Do not watch this movie. Do not watch the first one either because it was really. <laughs> uh, I mean, or do watch it just to see how like terrible a movie can get. And I, and I and I actually <laughs> I do like watching bad movies because it, it does for me feel like a. A, a palate cleanser. You watch a great movie like Parasite, and then you watch Brahms the Boy. You know, like it's 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 good to recognize what a good movie is, especially after watching a terrible one. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, uh, before we we end the show, I wanted to give uh, credit to Chris who won the Oscars. Uh, we were doing it. A- uh, the huge bets and everything, and and Chris beat out Dan like he usually does, of course, um, because Dan apparently tied with me. Uh, I know, I know, and I didn't even answer any some of the questions, so that's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Mike got second place, so go for it. Which I was very happy yeah. and proud of. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> and and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give the the folder, the Manila folder, 
Well, yes. I, sh- I should have put dollar signs on here <laughs> um, of twenty dollars because he won the money. I, I uh, mean, I would have won anyway if I didn't do that stupid tie that I said. Yes, oh, yeah, that was yeah, a dumbass right. thing to do. I, I, you know what? I should have went with my gut. Yeah. I knew he was going to win it, but you know what? I was like, the Oscars are going to be stupid, but yeah, they yeah, were yeah. stupid. <laughs> they were. They were. And I hope you guys were listening to um, or watching. The, the, the Facebook, li- uh, the, the tweet, the live tweeting, yes. The live cause tweeting, because it was between me and, and, and Z over here, yes. and we were just like talking. Oh, God. I was drunk and you were sober, but we were just being we were vicious talking, queens. Oh, he, I thought I was a <laughs> vicious queen. This one over here was really bad. Okay, Listen, let's see. Yeah, yeah. There might be some money missing only because, you know, Mike. <laughs> I know. My, it's No, it was Dan. Oh, it was Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan was missing money. Yeah, Ooh, there you go. Oh, a oh. ticket to Brahms. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, this is, this is uh, not to use on Brahms, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Or, or you know what? You know, put that into, like, your scholarship for your baby. There you go. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> All right. With that being said, I'm going to close up the show and give it over to Mike. All right. Kill this show. <laughs> sure. I'm going to murder it. I'm going to stab it. All right. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please visit us at moviemanypodcast.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Lipson, SoundCloud, wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Thank yes. you, Dakota. Thank you, Z. Yes. Thank you, Dan, wherever you are. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye. Take care. Thank you, double. (laughs) Thank you, double headed baby. You're a good baby. Brahms sucked. (laughs) Don't watch Brahms. I'm going to choke this baby. (laughs) You got to breastfeed it. Oh. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.